If you have a power washing company and you're still using the old batch soft wash method with one tank, I'm about to show you how to build an entire soft wash system with three tanks with a proportioner. Let's get right into it. So starting off, you're gonna see these three tanks. Now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a step back real fast and show you, you need the garden hose first. So what happens is this garden hose goes into the swivel to this jumper hose and it splits off into a Y adapter here. Now, part of it may go to the pressure washer, part of it goes to this water tank for the soft wash system. Now, you never wanna be running these both open at the same time because it'll starve the pressure washer. The pressure washer needs the most amount of water that it could possibly get. Um, and even if you have like eight gallon per minute machines and above, that's when you could even start pulling from this big water tank as well um, because the client's home won't have enough gallons per minute to actually feed the power washer. So you just wanna make sure you're doing that correctly and not starving the machine because it'll break it, it'll damage the pump. Um, just do it the right way. And <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put it into a water tank. Now, once it goes into the water tank and it automatically fills up, you don't want it to keep going when it's all the way full. And so I have something right under here. It's called a Hudson float valve. And this basically just ensures, it's basically the same thing in your toilet. So it basically ensures that the water stops once it gets to the top level. Um, you know, just it automatically does it. So you don't have to go back to the client's, uh, you know, water source and turn it off and whatever, turn it on. It's, it's just a big process. You want to get one of those. They're 20, 30 bucks. Now the next is these chemical tanks. So you want to make sure you have a good chemical tank. This is going to be holding all of your chemical. I actually have a drum right here. That's going to go ahead and feed right into this chemical tank um, with a drum pump. And then you need a five gallon bucket for surfactant. Now you could do a bigger you know, I say a tank for a surfactant. I just do the five gallon bucket because it works. If not, you know, you could get something else as well. It's really for your preference. But now we're going to be going in to exactly what else you need. So let's start off with this. You have the bulkhead fitting and you have everything, all the lines going into this proportioner. So you have one for a bulkhead on the chemical tank and then a bulkhead. Well, it's not really bulkhead. It's just put a pipe because there wasn't a small enough bulkhead. Um, it's typically a fourth and it goes from the surfactant tank into the proportioner. So you have all these lines. Now what do you do? Hook them up to the proportioner. The proportioner is basically where you could go ahead and adjust each level of what you want. Um, and then that will go ahead and run through here, run all the way down to this pump, and then it'll run out your soft wash hose. Now, it seems pretty simple, huh? But that is not all of it. So, um, you know, these proportioners are pretty expensive. So it is a big upgrade. It saves you a ton of time um, from, you know, the batch mixing to the actual soft wash system, but it's worth it. So what I have here is I have rigs. So there's a battery in here, and then there is a, um, you know, you know, the pumps right here you could put the pump inside there as well i just like to pump the pump out here so i could change it more easily um but anyway i rigged this up so if you go ahead and turn the on switch the battery is already connected to the pump and so that already goes up and then i could go ahead and plug in um you know this battery here so this is a battery charger i go ahead and just put the extension cord into here and then it'll go ahead and charge and be ready for the pump to operate so that's a basically a simple process of how everything is done here now i'm going to get deep into some things so one of the things i actually recommend having on your water tank is kind of this valve right here so you could go ahead and turn you know turn it if you want to wash your hands um you know wash your eyes out or you just want to dump all the water that's in your tank and by the way, I would recommend doing all this on a trailer. It really depends on how big your truck bed is if you do do it on a truck bed. Um, I would just recommend doing it on a trailer because you have so much more room. This is a 10 foot. Um, and you know, if it was an eight foot, I could still get all this because I have a lot of space open in the middle. It just would be a lot more crammed and it's kind of harder to access because typically trucks are raised higher. You gotta go over it and do everything. And I think it's just easier to do on a trailer. Now you wanna make sure it's accessible to however you're buying your sodium hypochlorite as well. So basically, if you buy your SH in a drum, you're gonna want the drum and a drum pump. So the drum pump will go from the drum to the uh, chemical tank. And if you are just buying your SH in gallons, you could go ahead and dump it um, yourself into here. I just like buying it in the drums because first of all, it's more affordable and you don't have those gallon jugs just laying around and you could just do everything through this drum. Now, if I'm doing the soft wash system, I might as well go over here to the power washer real fast. Basically how I have this plumbed um, and rigged a little bit here is, you know, I have the pressure washing hose. It goes through the swivel to a jumper hose, backs into the pressure washer. The pressure washer is just bolted there. Um, and then I have the garden hose right here. And I, sh I explained to you guys the Y adapter. So once I plug this into the client's water source, I'll go ahead and switch it to the pressure washer and it will all be through the pressure washer. And I would recommend getting a very, very, very good proportioner because if you get a crap one, it might leak and you don't want to be dealing with that. So go ahead and buy a good one. Buy just good quality equipment, everything, because it'll last you a long time. I hope this video helped a lot of people who have pressure washing companies that are just using the old batch soft wash method because 
The proportioner in the Southwest system is just a ton faster, a ton more efficient, and a ton better. So if you have any questions, text me on Instagram or leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you for watching.